So today I'm going to get you up and running with Techno Parrot. So for those who's not sure what Techno Parrot is, it's pretty much an emulator that covers a lot of arcade systems of say the 90s and the early 2000s. So in this video, I'm going to show you some controller setup configurations to get you up and running with some games. And I'm going to show you bits and bobs such as adding mods if that's what you want. So let's check this out. <laughs> As always say, first things first, if you like what you see in today's video, just hit notifications for me and hit subscribe. I'm always uploading emulation-based content as well as retro content. So let's get on with this. What we're going to do first is firstly download Techno Parrot. But before I do that, I'm going to just take you to the compatibility section. And what this is is it's going to tell you which games are working fine with Techno Power. And there's around 170 games on this list. So if we look at the legend at the top, uh, the blue sections, uh, that's the blue ticks like we can see just here, are flawless emulation. These games are going to run perfectly. Uh, the green, not so well. Uh, the yellow, the amber color, no, it's not going to be playable. And red, obviously, Absolutely not. So, you know, going through this list, there is a fair amount of games which are under the green section, which are great to run, but not perfect. But a lot of them are actually perfectly playable. So I'll leave that up to you to look through for yourselves. So let's actually download Techno Parrot. So we go to the download section and what we need to do first, if you don't have DirectX user runtimes downloaded and installed and Visual C++, you need to install these. Uh, so without these, your visuals might not work properly and games might not boot. So it's literally just a case of left clicking on these links in downloading and just extracting and installing both of these required software files. So once you've done that, and I've already done this, we're going to just go to Techno Power Up. And this is going to bring you to this screen. So we've got two options here. So the legacy release just here is literally going to ask you to manually install everything, whereas the bootstrap version is an all-in-one package where it's going to automatically update and automatically download us whatever it is TechnoParrot needs. So I always recommend the bootstrapper option here and just left click on this one and download it. And it's a fairly small file. So once we've done that, we can close this one down. So once you've downloaded the zip file, you're going to get TB Bootstrapper. I'm going to just drag this file I just downloaded onto my desktop and we can close that browser down now. And I'm going to create a new folder. So right click and new and folder, left click. And I'm going to just call this one Techno Power Up, but you can call it whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is just drag this Bootstrapper inside of this newly created folder. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this and I use WinRAR, but others out there watching this video, you might be using WinZip or 7-Zip, but extraction tools generally work the same. So WinRAR extracts here and this is going to give us several different files. So first things first, we need to delete this one just here. We just downloaded the zip file. We no longer need that. And our first thing we need to do is go into the TB Bootstrapper application, Ooh. double left click on this one and press yes. And this is going to automatically come up with everything that needs to be installed. So like I said just a minute ago, the Bootstrapper is a great option because it does all this for you. And what I'm going to do next is just suggest where to put this. So at the top here, we can see, please select where you'd like to download Techno Parrot. So as we know, I've got a folder on my desktop and I'm going to browse and direct everything to be installed inside of this folder. So browse and desktop. And I'm going to just highlight, left click it once on the Techno Parrot folder, select folder, and I'm now going to press for install. And this is going to install all those components. And once everything says installed, all we're going to do next is just close this down. And if we scroll down again back in the Techno Parrot folder, we can now see Techno Parrot UI, which is user interface. So just double left click on this one. And you're going to get a prompt saying it's your first time running Techno Parrot. Please set emulation settings. That's fine. You can OK on this. 
and you have no game set up, you want to add one, so yes. So first of all, what I'm going to do is just head over to these three horizontal lines at the top. And the first thing I always suggest is install updates. Uh, Techno Parrot, it regularly gets updated and just press update. And that's going to get us the best versions of different components that Techno Parrot uses. Okay, so once that update's been complete, we can now return to library and it's still asking us if we want to add games. So I'm going to press yes. And what I'm going to do next is just highlight on one of the games that I've got. So a list, and I'm going to go to add game for this. And from here, I'm just going to go to game settings. And this is the most important thing, setting up your games in TechnoPower. We got game executable at the top, so we need to locate the .exe of that game, which is a list. So let me show you what I mean. If I left click here, what I'm going to do is go and find my list game, which is located here. And the file I'm looking for is this one just here. And this is the LS exe. So just left click on that so it's highlighted and press open. Now, the next thing we might consider playing around with is the type of controller we want. So uh, some of you might have a direct input, some of you might have an X input, but we can configure both of these options in a sec. So for now, I'm gonna just leave this as direct input and I'm gonna save settings on this. And what I'm going to do next is actually set up the controller. So what I'm going to do to actually configure the controller is we can see controller set up just here. If I just left click on this one, we've now got a range of options. We need to map these out with the controller. So I'm using my PlayStation 3 controller for this. So let's take a look at these options here. So test in service are pretty much there if you need to enter the game specifically for buttons, that type of thing for a specific game. So it's always handy to set these up if you've got enough buttons on your controller that you're using. So for this, I'm gonna just go to test and I'm pressing back left, that's uh, L2 on my PS3 controller. And the service button I'm gonna use is my R2. Uh, that's my right bumper button on my controller. Uh, start obviously gonna be the start button. Uh, up, that's up to you if you wanna use analog, if you've got analog, I'm using D-pad on this section and left and right. Now your buttons are obviously gonna be your action buttons and your various different buttons that you're gonna be using in the game. So I'm just gonna use my X buttons and square buttons and circle and so on, and just pretty much fill this up with the buttons I've not yet configured. So let's just go ahead and do this. And once you're finished configuring controllers, I'm gonna to go to save settings. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually go to game settings again. And this time I'm gonna drop X input down and save settings. And I'm gonna go back to controller setup and just configure the settings for this different source of input in case we need it. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much use the same buttons as I did before with the other configuration setup. And again, once you've done that, just save settings. And that's about it. So let's just test out Alestia. I've done everything now, and I'm gonna to go to launch game to actually play this one. And you should have this little command prompt come up on the screen that's normal. And as we can see, it's loading. So depending on the games you're using through Techno Parrot, some can take a little bit of time to actually load up and others not so much so. M <laughs> ゲーム始まるのドラマ
that's it from my Techno Parrot basic setup guide today. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like this video today, just hit notifications for me and also subscribe to my channel. I'm always uploading new content. And be sure to check me out on social media where I update whenever I upload my videos to YouTube. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.